Have you been searching for Rimworld's premium vacation destination? Then look no further than the city of Reem. Luxurious housing solutions, convenient amenities around every corner, and the friendliest locals this side of the Rim. Voted the safest travel destination by the Reeman Holiday Board. So why not make this vacation special with a trip to Reem? And they all said there's no such thing as a perfect city in Rimworld, but you know, I'm gonna have to disagree, little Reem Reems. Welcome to Reemworld. And despite the fact that everybody is dying or horribly maimed, I think things couldn't be going better for the city of Reem except for everything. <laughs> and the children dying of hypothermia at the borders, but that's, that's a minor problem, really. So to recap what happened yesterday, and as much as my blood pressure can handle it, we were hit by a pretty hefty attack from... Carthage, who absolutely annihilated us with only a scouting party. Then while the majority of our people were recovering from fairly hefty wounds thanks to Carthage, the foxes attacked. And the foxes wiped us out. They wiped us out. And I played it off as if it was a dream by Remus, but I'll admit it. We, we got killed by foxes. <laughs> then after the gods intervened and time was miraculously reversed, we were attacked by more foxes. And now everybody is still dying, so really karma has uh, paid for our our sins there. And right now, we are in the middle of a fairly harsh winter. The food sources have run completely dry. And that's not even mentioning the massive amount of injuries, wounds, chopped off legs, fingers dropping off to frostbite, and infections that we are having to juggle. I believe it was the great Cicero who said, Shit's really fucked. Just so we're all on the same page then, the colonists worth mentioning are Neo, who is dying of an infection, 24% infection spread, but only 21% immunity. Jandiros has two infections, but both of them are probably significantly enough ahead at this stage that she probably won't die. Kryvalar, the sculptor, is also dying out of infection. 33% infection spread, but only 27% immunity. Rysling is out for the count. Complete and utter catatonic breakdown. And poor little Numa Pompilius, firstborn of Remus, has lost... Three toes and two fingers to frostbite because she was too young to wear actual clothes and kept walking out when it was minus 16 degrees C. And babies, now I'm not an expert, I'm, I certainly don't have a medical license, babies I'm fairly certain are not supposed to go out and wander around in minus 16 degree weather. So overall, things are going fine. Don't worry about it. Okay, things are absolutely not going fine. Rysling now has permanent depression from the constant stress. If I don't set them to work, they don't chop down the trees and refuel the fires. But if I don't give them the ability to do whatever they want, they break down and then they freeze to death by wandering around in the cold. Now, you all know how much I love a strict class system. But the problem with the outfit selection that we had going on to denote those various classes was causing our people to freeze to death. So I've said open season on outfits. Put on whatever the hell you want to keep yourselves as warm as possible. Neo... Neo, 4% in it. Come on, Neo. Uh, God damn you. Ah, uh, okay. We had to lose someone, right? It had to happen. Neo has died to the Fox's 99% immunity. I am in awe. And the worst part is Neo had... All of the great armor that took ages to build. And that's all tainted now. I guess he wasn't the chosen one after all. Well, Neo, on the plus side, you get to lie in a marble sarcophagus. Of excellent quality, by the way. Inside the Senate building. There aren't going to be many people who get this honor. Mainly because we're going to run out of friggin' room in the Senate building if we do that for everybody. <laughs> when everyone is healed and back upon their feet, then we'll have the funeral for Neo. So Jan Zeros is actually okay. Yeah, she was more than safe. Holy crap. Yeah, that is that is everything. I've been through everybody now. There's no other long-term illnesses or anything we have to worry about. I imagine Ella Gabalus is devastated. Yep, my husband and my friend Neo died for a minus 27. Oh, no, wait, it's a minus 30. That's good. This is probably the only colony I've ever seen that has people complaining about it being too hot and people complaining about it being too cold. And by complaining about it being too cold, I mean like actually straight up has hypothermia and all i can say is thank god for wild pomegranates otherwise this entire colony would have been wiped out <laughs> you'll have apple trees around as well cherry trees please winter do us all a favor and fuck off oh god alec gavilus is broken inside and become obsessed with corpses he's gonna dig up a corpse and present it all to see because his husband died He's dawling type mycin. I genuinely thought he was going to go and dig up his husband and display it for the whole colony. Uh, Sigma, please. Type mycin deserves better than this. We, we actually can't fight this. 
We really cannot. We're, we are going to get wiped out. The previous raid that we fought yesterday that, that knocked us down so much that we still haven't recovered was 403 combat power. Top priority is making sure everybody is decently equipped. What the fuck are you wearing? <laughs> Carthage is coming. Quick, throw on a crown. Okay, looks if everybody is still armed. Tiny child. I know you're a tiny child, but your time has come, my friend. Can you equip it? Oh, you can equip it. Fantastic. A lance is too large a weapon for Numa Pompleius to safely handle. I don't want you to handle it safely. I want you to handle it very unsafely. So Alagablus and Rysling are out of the fight, but to be honest, I think we're probably okay. What about these slaves? Let's get you guys equipped too. Here. I might even put them on the front line, seeing as apparently they've picked up the... Uh, <laughs> the good helmets that I crafted. And one of them is a capable of violent. Okay, never mind. But look, on the plus side, we fight this raid. We beat this raid. Then we can have ourselves the Festival of Deus Metalla Solus Invicti. And we can also have the final disposition. If we get lucky here, we could be picking up like 15 mood. And then hopefully they'll stop whining about being constantly gored and their fingers falling off. Oh my god, they're having the... They're having the funeral without me? Well, in that case, we'll begin the final... Oh my god, okay, they count as busy. Right, draft them up then. Funeral has been called off. Undraft them, then we'll just have the final disposition. If they're going to do it anyway, there's no reason not to have it now. I was trying to keep it in the bank for what is inevitably going to be another ass kicking by Carthage. Oh, they even invited the guinea pig. Well, the guinea pig and Neo were very close. Okay, that sounds good. Good. Okay, it is quite literally good. Plus five mood for six days, plus the bonus from the weapon, of course. I don't know if that seven mood, though, is going to be enough to... Gonna be enough to keep us going. What's wrong with Remus? Oh, you want that? Okay, so they're, they're upset because we haven't had the festival. In that case, have we got time to slide it in quickly before Carthage turn up? They're resting and they're half a day away, so we've definitely got time to do it. 97% quality. Not only will it remove the negative, hopefully we're gonna get a pretty good one out of it too. Plus the bonus from the weapon. This is fine. This is fine. Okay, here we go. Nice. Fun festival. Okay. Second best result. Not ideal. That'll do then. Hopefully that should cheer them all up pretty massively. They, they don't really have much to complain about. You want Grand Priest apparel. You chose to take that off, I'd like to remind you. The other thing that we can do if we really want to cheer them up is to grab somebody to execute from when Carthage turn up. Okay, don't panic. They're here. And you might mistake my term for panicking. No, 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 no. This is a perfectly normal, slightly elevated, and utterly anxious response to being... Killed horribly by, oh my god, nine people? It's nine versus eleven, though. However, two of our people are slaves. Oh my god, one of them can't fight, and one of them is a baby. And one of them is unconscious. Okay, we're screwed. <laughs> like I was saying, it's nine versus ten people, and one of them is a baby. I mean, babies are still people. They're just not very good people. Heathcliff? Wow. That's not quite how I remember Wuthering Heights. Although it would have been way more interesting if Heathcliff was a yak. <laughs> now, I'll be honest, I'm going to take the fight to them. Because I think if we don't, we're going to freeze to death. <laughs> this is awful. This is the worst anybody has ever played. What do you mean? Are you actually joking? You woke up and then collapsed immediately. Oh, fuck off, Riceling. They are beginning their assault. Okay. Combat command. I believe in you. Okay, we're going to have to back off slightly because everybody's taking a while to get here. Okay, squad. Let's just do it. No. Let me take direct control. Nice, 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 nice. Go for, go for the ones at the front. And then we just need to swap target. Nice. Keep them over the rocks. And then just get in where you can. We're going to have to go search and destroy now. Otherwise, they're just going to stand there and not do anything. Oh, God. Well, I can't do anything else. This is the best we can do right now. Sigma Draconis is down. Slave 1 is down. We've definitely killed a couple of their people, though. Diophantus is dead. Oh, shit. I mean, if we only lose one person, they're fleeing, they're fleeing, they're fleeing. They're fleeing, but, like, they actually can't leave. So we're still going to have to fight them to the death. We've done it. Look, when it's nine people and a baby versus nine people who are actually armed with armor and weapons, only losing one person. Although it is awful because we only just recruited Diophantus, 
I, I mean, it's a victory, right? This isn't this isn't regular room world anymore. We can't just take a position behind a mountain and pick them off with a sniper. We can't just build a kill box and let them come through and gun them down from behind sandbags. Now we've got to see if we can stop everybody dying. Uh, Simon Mortar. You're tending to Simon Mortar. Okay, your priorities are in the right place. Amara, you tend to yourself. Splitting out in five hours. Good God. Then Slave 1 is downed, but being tended to by... Uh, nobody. Nobody right now. So I'm also, uh, no, you, you're good, you're good, you're good. You tend to slave one. Okay, that's fine. And then Sigma Draconis is being carried back. Maybe drop him and tend him instead. Actually, no, he's fine. Uh, in that case, fuck. <laughs> oh, everybody's dying. Uh, no, 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 no. Draft up, draft up, draft up. Just come stand here. Let's just patch him up before they walk home and then collapse. Right, you get tended to. You self-tend again. You're okay. Slave two is going to tend to Numa, who is almost dead as well. Lost an entire arm. Unfortunately, there's nothing we can do about that at all, is there? I very much doubt we'll have any sort of prosthetic limbs. Okay, start tending to Remus now. How are you doing? Quavalar is fine, so you start tending to Elagabalus. Mara Dragon's Fox still bleeding out in three, but it's still self-tending though, so you should be fine. Slave one is probably going to be okay. Got a tendon, but went down. Oh, shit. Uh, Remus, how are you doing? Remus is fine. You're fine. So you fuck off, you fuck off, you fuck off. Jandoros is fine. You get out of here. Uh, you start tending to you. Alagabalus is fine. Leave. Slave two. Let's get you rescuing Sigma Draconis. Is everyone else okay? We're good. You're down, but need a little bit of patching up. You're fine. We've genuinely got away with yet another fight. <laughs> ah, this is not... This is just not okay, is it? Goodbye, dear Fantas. You didn't even have a chance to do what you were recruited for. Two funerals in two short days. Wow. Ideally, we need this to be the best funeral possible just to try and raise the mood up even a slight little bit at this point. We can't have anyone else die. That's good. Heartwarming. Fantastic. Plus eight, plus another couple from the Blade of the Sky. And that hasn't helped at all. <laughs> Dreamt about zombie trucks. Oh, Jandiros. That's the attitude. A replacement colonist for everybody that's died. Uh, Sc Skyura Thrasilos of Dalminion. I assume that is Remus' son. Absolutely, it is. Fantastic. But we can now breathe a sigh of relief. Oh! Okay, well, that's nice. But what I was about to say is we can now breathe a sigh of relief because winter is finally over. A big reason for why we were getting so much frostbite and hypothermia was because these idiots were traveling halfway across the map to eat a single pomegranate. So now that's over, our chance of survival shoots up massively. Not to mention we swapped out the bloody palisades for a good amount of solid marble walls, so... That's another problem dealt with. Now, to try and avoid a repeat of what just happened happening again, I think I'll expand the farms out a little bit and add a lot more winter food. Way more potatoes and way more corn. And then all we have to do is... <laughs> Brace yourself, he's about to say it again. Then all we have to do is build weapons and armor. You guessed it. So there was another good suggestion that we should probably build a smaller hospital, kind of decentralize a little bit, have a smaller hospital over here, a larger hospital I was thinking to have for... Things like long-term illnesses, plagues, flus, things like that. Then someone else raised a fair point that aqueducts count as pipes. So rather than having a bunch of just regular standard marble plumbing, we could go for full-on aqueducts. The problem with them is they also count as walls. So we can't, unfortunately, have an aqueduct running right through the middle of the city because it would cut the city in half. But when we finish the important stuff, like, for example, a hospital, I am more than happy to kind of decorate where we can with aqueducts. Maybe run it around the edge of the wall. I mean, even doing that, they're just going to stop our people being able to get out there. That's why, for the time being, bought it over from the water pump down through to the water tower. Then after that, we'll have to use marble plumbing, which is fine. It's as close as we can get to keeping the aesthetic without it being obviously a bit of a pain in the ass. Who are the new lovers? Uh, Elagabalus and Remus. Brilliant. That is a political powerhouse right there. Good work, team. Megacles the Seventh's forced weather. 31-year-old factory worker named Megacles the Seventh is calling to you for help. She's hiding from a malfunctioning weather control satellite. Nope. Madness. That was madness. She's making it up. Oh, a new Elagabalus. Sigma Draconis. Male human age 59. And the focus skill from that is intellectual. Unfortunately, we're not going to have much time to do any intellectual stuff. <laughs> Mainly because I'm in charge. <laughs> now, my Latin's not very good, but I'm fairly sure that the previous Elagabalus' name, Sinomorta, means something roughly like after death or no death or something like that. 
So it seems fairly appropriate that they've been sacked. And then you are now Elagabalus. Congratulations. Okay, look, it's been six days. I've been desperately trying to outfit everybody with weapons and armor so that today we don't spend the entire episode getting annihilated by small mammals. I am including Carthage in the bracket of small mammals. And as you can see, it's going pretty well. Quivala has a really fancy helmet. And Jandiros has a really fancy helmet. This little child, very fancy helmet. But we've paid the price because I'll be honest with you, I've lost Slave 1. I don't know where they went. And there wasn't a notification saying, hey, Slave 1's leaving. Maybe you should catch her. She's just straight up gone. She has disappeared. But counter counterpoint, we have an aqueduct. So there's that. And it is all working and connected properly too. This is this is filling up with water. It's very slow because we're using like a single Roman windmill. But we've got a little spring here that's being pumped into the aqueduct. That's bringing it down through to the through to the water tower. And because of gravity or some shit, I don't know, the wind turbine is making that all work. And then that's being pumped into uh, some underground channels, which is going all the way through to the community latrines, which is being then washed right into the river. And then when they've had a long, hard day work in the quarry, they can go and have themselves some nice fresh water and maybe freshen up a little bit in that very same river. <laughs> or catch dinner, that too. <laughs> Now, I'll be honest with you, I think we're doing a little bit too much quarry work right now, given the staggering amount of everything. So I've also decided to keep things simpler. We'll go for the heroic Corinthian helmets across the board, because it's kind of difficult to distinguish that between the other helmets anyway. And then our unique characters will still have the mask and the spiked skull cap, or not the mask, because I can't craft a mask. It might be in here. Uh, the, okay, no, we can craft the mask. And we want to say do until X, where X is one. And it's someone's birthday. Happy birthday, Mario Dragon's Fox. You've now got, oh my god, you've now got dementia. Quite the aging population. A lot of the people that we've recruited have been quite old. I think they were the ones that came out of the, um, the crypto sleep caskets, if you remember. Remus is only 29 so far, so it's not that bad. Alagabalus is 41. Sigma Draconis is 60. Jan is 21. Quivalar is 61. Simorta is 68. Reisling is 61. Holy crap, we're in a retirement home. Sorry, by retirement home, I mean retirement heme. <laughs> There you go. One mask. Right, you go ahead and stick that on. Oh, apparently we have enough helmets for everybody now. Who's missing them then? Oh yeah, look, we actually do. Wow. I'm going to make everybody the cheaper armor though, mainly because it's cheaper, but the only real difference is like 15% sharp armor, but the real difference is this one gives that 15% social impact. And I'm not sure I want everybody to be overly sociable. And then our long-term goal for armor will be making the same thing, but entirely out of steel, because that in this era is going to be insanely good. And then the long-term, long-term goal, when we can find it through quests or anything like that, Plasteel. If we could pass down a set of Plasteel armor through Remus's dynasty, that alone is legend worthy, right? And actually from the ancient danger and the very, very tiny chance to get it from the quarry, we do have 242. We can make like one legendary, maybe, maybe wait until... Our crafters are really high up there in skill. Then craft it as kind of their magnum opus. Okay, so goal today then. Let's get the actual hospital built as soon as possible. Then I also want to plant the groundland seed over here. I, I thought to myself, it doesn't really matter about the rich soil because we've just got tilled soil anyway, right? So putting the groundland tree over here with the high fertility would just be nice thematically. And then we'll build our nymphaeum over there. So we do have a groundland seed available. So let's go ahead and put you down like right, like right, uh... Well, I don't know why I can't plant it there. Let's put it right here. That's pretty good. <gasps> Today is Ream Day. Oh, happy Ream Day, everyone. I think I, I think it's starting to take shape as a proper little city here. I would love to have turned kind of this area into more of a plaza. Maybe take this building away because it's, I mean, way larger than all the other houses, right? Build another couple of houses, say, over here or on the other side of the river. That could work quite nicely. And then have a central plaza here with a few fountains, maybe some stools, some outdoor chessboards. I don't know. Something just to kind of get them out there a little bit. Ah, trade change and new lovers. I wonder if they're related. Thrasolos of Delminion. Oh, that's the baby. Oh, no, I hope they're not related. <laughs> So they've lost the trait Anxious, which is fair enough, because being a baby is traumatic, especially the first few hours. And then Sign Mortar tried to woo Slave 2 by boasting about her own forehead. I'm not sure about the ethics of that one, to be honest. Oh, really? Oh, well, now you're going to want us to, like, emancipate her. And... <sighs> I assume they can't... Oh, no. I mean... I'm not going to lie, you're like the second best doctor in the colony and also the second best warden. 
<laughs> All right. Okay, fine, 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 fine. Remus, get her arrested. Zero citizen supports it. They don't know what's good for them. Overruled. Now, you're already... Okay, you're already the cult of Sol Invictus. So, what we've got to do is just recruit you, right? Oh, you still got resistance? What, what are you talking about? I'm offering you citizenship. To be honest, she probably just wants to go home to her own people. And I mean, yeah, I mean, that just, just really does make sense. Have a chat. Brilliant. <laughs> we'll be there in no time. Why didn't I preach health? Oh. If I'd have preached health at Neo, he would have lived. I always forget about that because you only ever use this person for converting. And the cooldown is like four hours. And by four hours, I mean real lifetime. Fuck. Okay. Remember, that's there. Don't use any powers with the Grand Priest anymore, except for healing. Because it's actually going to be relevant this series, because we don't have medicine, or hospital beds, or vitals monitors, or... Well, I was going to say running water, but... I mean, that's not true. In fact, I'd argue in this ancient series, we've got more running water than every other friggin' series. A beer party! I've got some bad news. I don't have any beer. Oh my god. Thrasilos of Delminion is grabbing a beer with Numa. You mean the baby and the five-year-old? <laughs> what are you doing? Is there beer in the fridge? Tanning liquor? You can't drink fucking tanning liquor. <gasps> it's taking ambrosia. Oh, is that what they're doing for their beer party? They're just doing fucking drugs in the stockpile? Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Five-year-old just convinced it. Oh, sorry. Seven-year-old just convinced his toddler sibling to go and do a bunch of drugs. Unbelievable. So the problem we have now is that since Neo died from a completely unpreventable and impossible to survive from infection, we have no other builders. Like, at all. That means that Remus has to build the entire city. Which, to be fair, is kind of cool. Very thematic. Very appropriate that Remus would build Reem. Not very convenient. There's a rat asleep in the villa. Well, at least he's civilized and didn't sleep on the floor. <laughs> oh, that rat's gonna eat that baby. I love this town. I, it's just such a fun town. Even though we're getting constantly wiped out, we've got some great characters. Now, before I get carried away, we're building a plaza, right? So why don't we put down an art table? That's not an art table right now. It's a stone cutter table that looks like an art table. Why don't we build an art table and then have Quivalar given that she's a sculptor and also very skilled at sculpting, build some big statues for our plaza. I mean, shit, what about a statue of, like, Neo and Tight Mycin? I think we can afford to get rid of a Stonecuss's bench, given that we've got, I mean, plenty of ways to get stone at this point. Oh! A nice other tool cabinet. All right, so let's go one art bench. Remus, don't go too far away. Quivala, your skills are absolutely wasted in that quarry. Let's drop you right down so art is the top priority here. I want statues of the founders of Reem before it's too late. So let's go ahead and go... <gasps> Whoa! Look at all this shit we can build. Wow! Oh, I like these ivory figures. Oh, that's cool. Jade urns? Oh, that's really nice as well. Some more sculptures. The Colossus of Sol. We don't need that yet, do we? But we could make one ahead of time. Oh, we can actually make classical sculptures. Oh, that's awesome. Um, I think then let's kick things off with the Colossus of Sol. We can make mosaics of rabbits, which is never going to happen. Wogs, which is also never going to happen, but we can make muffalos, elephants, and thrombos. Stone pots, I guess, to store things in. Yeah, stone pot for storage. I assume that's the same for the baskets. Now, I want to make uh, statues of colonists, I think. We need one for type mycin, one for Neo, and one for... The other person who died, who I definitely remember. Diophantus. You know, Diophantus, I think, deserves one kind of first, because they they died before anything good could happen. Uh, what does this do? It's just uh, just to carve Jade Urn. Okay, cool. And then the Jade Band gives 15% negotiation ability and 5% trade price improvement. Wow, if we give that to Remus, that plus his armor, his sagum, his helmet, everything would just give him an insane social bonus. What are you talking about now? Rysling lost... The Iron World tray and went deaf? You know, maybe we should be using blunt weapons. The spears are great and all. I should say the lances are great and all. But we need to get some fresh blood into this colony. This place really is becoming a friggin' funeral parlor pretty damn fast. What blunt weapons do we have the opportunity to make right now? Uh, if I can remember how to play this game. <laughs> Heavy clubs? I suppose so. I love the gladiator helmets, though. Those would be so cool for the... For the slaves, when eventually... And, and that's another good reason to get blonde weapons. We can actually fill up the slave pits again. So we recruit this other person that freaking Simon Mortar has decided to fall in love with. We're not going to have the slave bonus. Or 
we're not not gonna have the slave negative gastrophities oh that's quite good and, and I, I assume for this era, that, that's still quite powerful. Another bonus to making blunt weapons is that all the armors we've been able to craft have a high sharp defense, but lower blunt defense. So I think war hammers, not for everybody. Well, maybe for everybody. What the fuck not? War hammers, heavy clubs? What's the difference? 150. You're 70. What's the DPS? Craftable DPS. Uh, We're looking at steel... What's the... So like a steel heavy club. Is that really better than a steel warhammer? Really? 21.6 armor penetration. 31. The heavy clubs are better. Warhammer feels a bit more medieval than ancient as well. So I can I can do heavy clubs. Let's go uh, one per colonist. Yeah, 10 per colonist. That's what I meant. Then maybe we'll limit it to not be using bamboo. Because that seems like a poor idea. No gold. No silver. No wood. I mean, uranium would be incredible. Uh, what have we got in the special metals? Copper, tin, stone blocks. Marble Warhammers for our... <laughs> for our Roman city. Roman city, damn it. One day I'll go a whole episode without getting it wrong. I think that's fine. Honestly, I think that's okay. I need the blocks to be able to build the plaza and the statues and the hospital and the and the nymphaeum and everything, really. Build complete the Colossus of Soul? I feel like that's deserving of a bit more recognition, but hey, uh, where are we going to put it? Oh, I mean, we need to put it in this room. That's the only real place that we would put it. Oh, there's no room for it, though. Just put it outside. Just put it like there. I mean, that would be quite good for the plaza. And it all, almost fits in the middle. Ah, oh, damn it. Uh, here, put it there for now. Oh, was that our first warhammer? Hey, where'd you put that? Uh, let's go. Okay, okay, I've got an idea. So I've set all the others to important. We'll set this one to critical, and then we will say big heavy club. Lead heavy club. Holy crap, that is a heavy club. Wowee. Eight kilograms. Oh, no. <laughs> wow, we these are bloody quick to build. I mean, they, they are less DPS, sure, but there's a chance we can actually take some prisoners with this. To be honest, they might be higher DPS because, like I said before, their armor is good against sharp but not so good against blunt. I assume Remus has our best armor. 91% sharp versus 40% blunt. Yeah, I mean, this is still going to be good damage. And hang on, was Slave 2 not the one we had connected to the Granlin tree? No. Uh, But I guess we could just have you do that. I mean, what else are you going to do here? Doctoring. You're a second best social character, i.e. not going on to social. Free yak? Hello. I mean, we've got a bit of bloody pen for it, but I know exactly what to call you. Little Heathcliff. Hello. It's not a very Roman name, I'll admit. Where can we put down a pen? I mean, the walls are sealed, right? No, they're absolutely not. I also think they might be able to walk in through the aqueduct. Obviously, it's quite slow, but I worry that rats might be able to get in through it. All right, here's an idea then. Give me the fence gate. Can we just hold it open? Oh, we've already got one there. Okay, so we've just got to put down like... Well, let's just put down like one in the middle then. That's not what I meant to do, but you know what? I think that's better. Well, Slave 2, I would say welcome to the colony, but I mean, you've been here more than most of these people, to be honest. Now, we're going to put Slave 2 on medical is fine, and then I'm going to have her on plant cutting, harvesting, growing, whatever it is to be able to run the Garanlan tree. And then we're going to begin the connection ritual, like right now. The sooner we can get those Chlorodryads back, the better. The connection ritual is half finished and no one has got here yet. Okay, maybe I cancel it first. <laughs> Draft everybody over, who, by the way, are now carrying very big, heavy clubs. Oh my god, look at us. Carthage, I'm gonna know what hit them. Well, not the first time, at least. I'm sure when we hit one of them, they'll feel it back in Carthage. And then we'll say begin tree connection to slave two. And then I feel like I should probably rename her. Because that doesn't seem very appropriate. Oh, look at that. That's like one of the nicer looking Garanlan groves we've ever had. We'll change the dry case over to Chloras. I don't think I've ever gone all in on the connection strength before. 6.9 hours a day. Nice. Oh, really? To be honest, I'd probably give up too. Rysling. Rysling is stoner. And our ideology forbids the use of drugs. So, I mean, I'm not going to let them leave, but I... I get it. We'll just go ahead and kick you out. Hang on. Eight people opposed imprisoning them, and now six people opposed releasing them. Frig off. This is why people shouldn't be allowed to vote. They don't They don't know what they're voting for. They just go with the crowd. Ah. <laughs> Might be a side effect of equipping them with big, heavy clubs, I suppose. Ah, uh, look at the combat power of that warband of Carthage. 9,629. 3,002. Are you joking? Warband of Galaxy Savages are uh, 20,000. Are we just like fucking dead? 
<laughs> We're just waiting to die. Scouting party has 1,200. I suppose we've picked up a lot of armor and weapons, though. Oh, Quivala. She really built one out of bronze and two out of iron. Well, this one is... Oh, this one is a statue of Remus. So we're just going to install that in the Senate. And then we'll just build another iron statue for the actual tomb. So who do you want to copy it from? Uh, Neo, obviously. Then we'll copy from Tyke Meissen. Oh my god, it's even got his face tattoo. That's so good. Then I've renamed Slave 2 to Nildreath. Nildreath the Nymph, which is very hard to say. Well, I hope you weren't too attached to Heathcliff the Yak, because despite my best efforts... This doesn't count as a... Oh. That baby's stolen Heathcliff 2.0. <laughs> Did you seriously just ride a yak to bed? I won't lie. Having Heathcliff 2.0 here is really inconvenient because I can't hold the gate open. I suppose we'll build another actual animal pen up here by the, by the aqueduct. I don't know if that'll count as in closed because you can walk over the aqueduct. Please, for the love of God. I don't think I've had a single building in remote that's ever taken this long before. Well, at least that rat was polite enough to eat that other rat in the dining room. <laughs> God, we really need a cleaner. Does anybody want to volunteer? Who Who is not doing anything handy here? Okay, so someone down... Uh, what about like you? Little Draith, what are you doing? Nothing. Congratulations, you're drafted. Wait, no, hang on. You're spending all day on the ground entry. Okay, hold on. Uh... What about you? Sign a mortar. Okay, you're cleaner now. Oh, and also worth mentioning, I did build a little medical tent area here for if anybody's battered on the front line. Need to tend them somewhere quickly. Chuck them in a tent. Oh, there we go. Second child of the colony. We need to give you a... Let's give you a new name, don't we? This one I will once again leave to the mercy of you in the comment section. I'll take whatever is the most devoted on this episode, and I will name this child it. Please try and keep it somewhat thematic, because we've done a good job of that so far. The election campaign is on. Remus and Jan Deros are competing for the leadership. So one of those two then is going to become Elagabalus. I hope it's not Remus, because otherwise he'll lose the Grand Priest title again. If Jan Deros wins it, that's a fucking story right there. Bear in mind, Jan Deros was the original eight-year-old girl that we took as a slave all the way back... Did you just ride Heathcliff 2.0 over a fucking fence? Like I was saying, she was the eight-year-old slave girl that we rescued. Uh, oh, no, she was uh, the refugee, I remember, that we took as a slave so that she would work in the colony and not leave. Oh, God, okay. Well, I was just thinking to myself, the game was letting us get away with far too much today. 977! That's over twice as powerful as the raid we fought yesterday that almost annihilated us. Granted, though, we have actually achieved what I set out to achieve three days ago. <laughs> Not to undermine my own achievements or anything. The hospital, look at it, almost built. We've got a triage center up by the front gate where we're going to be doing quite a lot of fighting. Granted, it's three tents on a dirty path, but that's not the point. We have statues of colonists and a big old slate mosaic that has grass growing out of it, which is very confusing. The little plaza's almost done. And more importantly, everybody has good weapons and good armor. Well, not necessarily good weapons, but we've all got big, heavy clubs now. We've all got heavy Corinthian helmets, which is more than I thought everybody was going to get in the first place. And then we have the Lorica variant, so Lorica Hamata for these guys, and then the Lorica Musculata for everyone else. We're actually prepared. We're armed. We're ready. The city is sufficiently classical right now. The dryads are there. I don't know why they're not changing caste, though. I might have set the... Well, I've been a little bit overambitious with that, I will admit. Let's just go like 5.9. Will she swap it over now? Uh, Neil Drake. Not assigned to dealing with? What the fuck do you mean by dealing with? Basic? Was that dealing with? Oh, you have to have a point in basic to change the dryad case. That's a bit silly. I suppose I should probably put points in basic for everybody now that we don't have any slaves to do the job. Right, there we go. Okay, we're not going to get Kalora Dryads before the attack party turns up, which is a bit of a shame, because for some reason you need to have basic enabled. But as far as the progress with the city itself, I think I think this has been a great day for Reem. I don't even want to say it, but I think it might have been the best day for Reem. And this game has a habit of taking the greatest things and making them fall the hardest. Carthage will learn to fear Heathcliff, and they shall perish. So tomorrow, we see if all this time and effort was worth it. We see if our armor will hold up, and we see if with our weapons we can populate this city and hopefully take some slaves in the process. Maybe that's a little optimistic. Maybe I should just say, hopefully, we'll survive. 
Thank you all for watching. I think this has been an incredible day for, for theming and progress. And I think we've uh, I think we've done a pretty good job. Thank you as well, of course, to the patrons for making the series possible in the first place. A thank you to Ankara Slave, Ciala, Orcs Chops, Hascrack, Elite IMP, Scary Scurvy, Anastara, Time Waster, Tenacious Bloom, Luskanai, This Be Willis, Crow Skull, Daily Barbarian, and Zetlock for their support, the executive producer tiers over at Patreon. The Patreon list, I'm actually at the end of them now, so I'll get those updated for tomorrow. And a thank you as well to Dodger, Astro Boogie, Deadly Kitten Hunt, Cat Lord, Saltalor, William, Erotha, Lilac, Jordan, Mystic Aces, Nox Immortalis, Matthewson T, Ink, Lazy Panda, Irish Batman, Pumbly, and Brave Pirate. 